Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the Warrior Cat Tales. I'm your host, LPS Funny Girl, also as Maya. You're probably wondering why I'm making this. Well, let me explain why. Can I just start my little thing by saying that I love the Warrior Cat so very much? Written by Aaron Hunter, they have done an amazing job at this series so far. They're working on the fifth one, so they made four complete series at this time. And you know what I've been noticing? In my previous video, I mentioned three of the most notorious warrior cat villains of all times. And that would be Broken Star, Scourge, and Tiger Star. But there are some of the characters I mentioned that are close to them. Kind of sort of like Hawkfrost with Tiger Star, Squirrel like one of Five Star's daughters, and her sister Leaf Pool, including Fire Service Scourge. But have you noticed that there's some outside of that? And that's why this series was made. I pick a certain warrior cat character to choose, tell a bit about their history, and then I tell about their main roles in the books, including the seasons. But what about the ones that are in the fanfics? Kind of like Just Not Fall and Dim Star from Dim Star's past. Do you think I might do a file for each of those two? Well, that depends. But I'm focusing on the main characters and some of the side characters that have really good roles in the books. Now for first character, it's a well known character that you guys know from The Power of Three. He may just be around Dark River sort of like Fallen Leaves, but he proclaims himself as to be the cat that lives forever, not to mention that he can't see, but he was described to have blind eyes looking like eggs. This is Rock. Anyone that's read Power of Three, they will always remember Rock as the old Tom that's the hairless cat underground in the tunnels like Fallen Leaves. He comes from the aging cats along with Half Moon, back when Jay Feather was known as Jay's Wing, along with Fallen Leaves, one of the fallen characters. He is the most mysterious cat you have ever noticed in this entire series. I think he's like the secret mentor for, well, Jay Feather when it comes to his power in the stars. Did you know that he was actually around in the scene where Fallen Leaves like drowned when the tunnels were flooded? And I gotta say, he's a bit creepy when it comes here and there. Especially when he claims that he has the curse to live forever. I mean, my god, how old is this dude? Seriously. In fact, around in the sign of the moon, because of, well, the taller stones, he tried to get Half Moon to be back where she was in the first place. And it's kind of sad because those two were really good together. But you might be thinking about the ultimate guide. Well, surprisingly, he's in that book. Kind of like with Fallen Leaves, Soul, and even along with Cat's really good friend Midnight, he actually has his own profile. But it's different. He is no longer the hairless Tom that you all know and love. Well, some of you guys love him. Some of you hate him. He is a lot scarier than you think. Which design do you think made him all different? Well, it's his eyes. They changed his eyes from white to blue. And I gotta say, I did not like that picture. I even showed it to my sister and she did not like it either. And this was his new fate. I get the artist was trying to make good designs for him in, well, the ultimate guide, but I think white this is a bit 